R2, D2, your hands. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review, and I'm glad you're here to join me with another installment of the Star Wars Build Your Own R2-D2. This time I'm working on issue 77, building the R2-D2 body frames and dome fittings. We're also going to work on the lightsaber ejector and get that installed inside the dome. So let's go ahead and look at the instructions here first. We'll go ahead and build this up and then I'll show you the entire magazine afterwards. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. As you can see here, we uh, have a listing of all the parts that were received in this stage, stage 77. And that's over here on the left there. Let's get a closer look. And there you go. Those parts there. And the Allen screws, we're going to replace those with metal ones. Assemble the leg support. Fitting the lightsaber ejector. Put those screws in there. And neaten up the wires, make a little conduit out of it. Continuing with that and proceed to install it inside the dome. And that's where the screws get installed in from above. Now we're gonna wire up the dome. We have a circuit board we're gonna install up. Some wire bundle retainers will get installed also, some plastic ones there. We're gonna run the wires to that circuit board and plug them in. I'm gonna reinforce those wires. I'll show you what I'll do with that. Continuing plugging in all the wires. It's kind of a junction box type circuit board. Routing everything to one location there. More routing, more stuff getting plugged in. And that's what it all should look like. with the wires running through the conduits there. Let me get the part. Here's parts pack for 77. Let's get a closer look. And here's all the parts. We have some more supports that get mounted on the inner frames. These two items. And of course we're gonna replace these plastic screws with some metal ones. These would be the M3 type screws. There's a link in the description below. Little wire conduit protection thing here and some wire straps. Let's get started. And this piece here will mate up to those two tabs just like that. Two and a half by six screws go into this. A couple of them there. And I went ahead and backed them out. I'm going to put some Loctite on these. Loctite will act like a glue to keep the screws from backing out from vibration or anything like that. Here we go. going to take this and we're going to turn it like that. It's going to go on just like that onto the frame. Put a little Loctite. And this That's 
looks good there. And there you go. That completes that step. We'll go ahead and move on to working on the dome next. Next, I'm going to put in the three screws in on the dome, and they're going to go right there, right there, and right there. And there you go. All three are installed. Now let's go ahead and install the lightsaber ejector. Here's the lightsaber ejector tube, and what I did was I put on this little conduit assembly onto the wires. I gathered them up and made them neat. Then I installed a wire tie down here and a wire tie around the tube. Now we're going to go ahead and install this part here up to the uh, inside of the dome. So it's going to mount to this right here, right here, and right there. You want to take your tube and turn it to the left, everything that's on here to the left, and mount it up there. Make sure your wiring is cleared out of the way. And it's going to go straight down on top of that, just like that. Okay, and we're going to put our screws in it. The two by 2.3 by 6 millimeter screws, self-tapping screws. Those are the black ones, and both screws are in. One right there, and one right there. Wasn't easy to film, and I, that's why I didn't film it. Very fiddly, to be honest. But take your time, and you'll get it right. And that's what it looks like. Next, we need to systematically neaten up the wires and plug them into that circuit board. So the first one I did was this one right here coming off this light here. It's going to be routed through these hold down connectors and then it gets plugged in on the first socket. Next we have this wire here coming off that light. Route it through these hold downs here and it goes into the second socket right there right beside the other one. Next we have this run right here running on that panel on down to the third socket. Next we have this wire coming off this light. I bundled it up and secured it with a wire tie and I inserted it in the fourth socket down here. Next I took this coming off the projector and put it in the fifth socket right there. Next I took the lightsaber wiring conduit and I plugged in the larger connector and plugged into the LS socket. And lastly I took that same conduit from the lightsaber with the smaller connector and plugged it into the last small socket right here. And that completes issue 77 or stage 77. All the wiring is secure now. And uh, looking at some of the other builds I've seen online, I know this circuit board could be an issue with the connectors coming loose. So what I'm going to do is put some tulip slick on those connectors where they mate to the circuit board. And I'm going to try to make it as neat as possible. And that just it's, it's going to make it so I could disconnect, disconnect them if I need to in the future, but it's also going to help secure them and keep them in place while they are plugged in on the board. Because I know sometimes these things come loose and then you have issues. So that's my remedy to stop that from happening is putting the tulip slick on there. And this is just a real thick acrylic uh, type of paint and it works great for light blocking, but it also works great for your electrical contacts to keep them together. And there there it is. You can see where I put the tulip slick. I just put it on the back side there. kind of holds it down in place. Keeps it secure. Same with those two right there. And there you go. That completes stage 77. I had a blast building this. We got that part installed on the 
lower frames there and all the wiring neatened up in the dome and the lightsaber ejector installed that's fantastic so if you like my content please subscribe to my channel and smash the like button let's look at the articles in the magazine take care everybody let's look at the articles in the magazine building the galaxy studio and location work great coverage here The Infiltrator, Demolition Droids, and this is part of the Droid Directory. Then, of course, the Assembly Instructions, and a preview of what's up and coming for 78. Tool housing, tool arms, and connectors.